there's been plenty fired up from what you're telling me south of the border. Someone's having cra- uh, shots at the king, Wally Lewis. Well, the king and and yourself, really. <laughs> it's uh, uh, a, what me? Yeah, yeah. You you're in the firing line, well and truly as well, mate. Really? Yeah. Hang on. Yep. You just mentioned me and the king. The king and I. So I'm Deborah in the Kerr in the same sentence. Yeah. So, there you go. I'm take happy that, to mate. I'm take taking that. that every day of the week. <laughs> What's happened? But the segment we started last week, which has already gone incredibly nuts over the last week. The questions without notice, Benny. Right. Most successful segment in radio history after the, the one week. <laughs> um, <laughs> one show does not make a career. I asked you uh, a question uh, where if Nathan retired, uh, Nathan Cleary retired now, oh, yeah, 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 would he like, yeah. be an immortal? And this is uh, what we spoke about last week. Nathan Cleary, mm-hmm. four premierships, mm-hmm. Clive Churchill hasn't won a Dally M yet. Several State of Origin series wins. If he retired now, would he be an immortal? Not yet, but he has the potential to be. He hasn't dominated State of Origin. Ha- hasn't dominated to the level of like a, a, a Wally, an Alf. Uh, he probably even put Cameron Smith into that uh, arena as well. I mean, that's t- to me, and this is, this is the, the knock on Andrew Johns. Uh, he he didn't dominate state of origin. I said that. That's right. I, I'm just listening to that back. And you said if he retired now, would he be an immortal? No, but he has the potential to be. So I didn't even listen to the question. <laughs> yeah. So the the actual uh, question is not yeah. what sort of sparked the debate. It's your comment about Andrew Johns not dominating state of origin, which has been a common thing when we've spoken about who you think is the greatest players of all it's time. And theme. it's. Well, that's that's the. Well, I responded with 2005 isn't dominating. You said no because it was only one series or yeah. you know one game, blah blah blah. But Not one series. Um, no. So I agree with you there, but it, it got the attention of a popular sport podcast in the Hello Sport Boys down in New South Wales, uh, and they were quite fired up about it. The, the the Hello Sport Boys down in New South Wales, right? So a popular sport sport podcast, mm-hmm. and this is what they had to say. When has that ever been the knock on Andrew Johns? That he hasn't dominated State of Origin? The only one, the, it's never been brought up. It's never? Not only is that not wrong, it has never, ever, ever been brought up. Also, Wally never won a comp. So, like, do you want to talk about dominating? Well, what's, Wally... What's, Wally never won shit. Wally never went to Sydney because he hated New South Wales with all of his being. So he won comps. He didn't win one in Sydney. Yeah. Win the, he didn't win the real deal. The real he won deal. second grade. This guy needs to set out the parameters of what domination means. Who... Who is this man? But according to his Wikipedia, he has covered Queensland's biggest sporting event, the State of Origin Series, since 2000 from Queensland's record loss to their record series win in 2010. If I'm reading this correctly, did he not even win a comp in Queensland? He never won a comp. Even in Queensland? Listen... Nah. Whatever that, whatever goes on in Queensland, so no respect to Ben Davis, but like whatever goes on in Queensland doesn't count. It's comps, no, no, but I'm saying comps or nothing. No, bro. but I'm saying he didn't even win a comp in second grade. Doesn't look like it. So that H- who are these boys? Yeah, the Hello Sport boys. Okay, yeah, they're, they're pretty popular. Mm. Now I, I will let you respond, but we want to mainly focus in the target uh, what they said about Wally Lewis mm. and not winning a comp which they got off a, uh, a site that's not really a reputable source. So I just want to give well, they were the qu- stage. They were, they were quoting Wikipedia there for a second because all of us, so anyone who quotes Wik- Wikipedia and my Wikipedia page, I go, what? I don't have a Wikipedia page. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know. Well, it's not something you, something you set up yourself. So they're quoting Wikipedia for a start. So there's a reputable source. And the video that that came off, you were just showing me, I mean, are they in their parents' basement? Is this like Wayne's World? Is that is that what this is, these two blokes? And and there was some other one that chimed in quoting Wikipedia. All right, so all right, we're off to a great start here, reputable sources and all. Yeah, but the, the, the quote about Wally never winning a comp, hang on, what? So they started off by saying <laughs> Wally Lewis won comps in second grade, uh, calling the, the Queensland comp second grade, but then at the end finished with He's never won one even in Queensland. So the that's stage what is tr- now yours, Benny. Well, no, well, that's what I was trying to follow, that he didn't win one in second grade. Oh, no, he won some comps. He's never won one. Well, he he won three in the BRL, uh, Valleys in 79. The one I was at in 1984, because this is the thing, I, this, when I was listening to that going, well, he's never won a comp. 
Okay, well, what was I watching in 1984 when I was 10 years old watching Wally go up against Mal win a Manly v Souths at, at, at a packed Lang Park? Uh, and then he won one again in 86 against, I reckon it was Brothers. So he's won three. And to say that it wasn't what, second, second grade, really, Brisbane Rugby League second grade. So there was the New South Wales comp, obviously, New South Wales Rugby League and Queensland Rugby League. That no amalgamation. Players, yes, of course, went down and played. Fatty was playing for Manly. Wally and Gino were about to be signed by Manly. It's a great story. If we actually, we should probably get Wally or Gino on to tell the story when they were in Kerry Packer's office and what they were going to sign for to go down and play for Manly. That's a sidebar. They won three comps. Sorry, Wally won three comps for winning Manly. And the, to suggest that it was second grade, is that is that? Your take on it, Hoff? That yep. They're yep. suggesting that the Brisbane Rugby League at that time was second grade. So let's – well, Wyndham Manley at the top. Lewis, uh, Miles, uh, Dowling. I don't know if Kineski was there by then. Uh, Colin Scott, not in 84. So hang on. Well, Lewis, Miles, Dowling. So there you've got internationals there playing against Souths, who Meninga, Belcher – uh, Bobby Lindner, Peter Jackson. So, Tess. So, well, there we go. I've run out of fingers of Test players. Who's the coach of that team too, Benny? Oh, yeah, that's right. A bloke called Bennett. Yeah. Yeah, he'd, he'd go on. He goes all right. So, we've got Test coach. We've got the Hall of – probably the best coach. Not probably. The best coach ever. You've got an immortal playing against another immortal – uh, test players were almost up to 10. No, but it's second grade, and Wally never won a comp. Okay. All right. So this is what you're saying, shots fired at the King, and we need to respond. All right. What's the name of that? What's it? The Hello, Hello Sport. Boys? The Hello what? Sport. Hello podcast. Sport. Hello, boys. <laughs> Hello Sport. All right. Um, mm, and it's a podcast? Yep. Okay. And I guess that's the difference, I guess, between social media and, like, the real, like, professional media like we get our stats and we back it up and we actually know what we're talking about we don't quote wikipedia oh i don't know that's just a hey if they're firing shots from that side of the border i'm firing these shots back i mean it's a fair it's a fair point right and and when they go back about the knock being on andrew john's not dominating origin that that is a thing maybe not in their little cloistered space of i don't know new south wales what between the tweed and the murray but everyone outside it is. I mean, you, you have a look at – when Andrew Johns was named the eighth, so many eyebrows were raised. And it doesn't matter what state you live in. Andrew Johns is a good player. He, he, he is a great player. But there were so many more great players ahead of him, and still are, that should be an immortal before Joey. I mean, have a look at – have a look at Alf. Yes, should be – definitely should be an immortal. Definitely. And what he has achieved and how he dominated the game. Um, Australian halfback, Queensland, uh, Australian Queensland and Broncos captain winning comps. Did, did all three in 98 for a start. Uh, winning Clive Churchill's, what, 92. Uh, winning premierships, 92, 93, 97, 98. Um, that, that's just Alan Langer. And remember when we had the immortal chat earlier this year, there's a bloke called Brett Kenny who hasn't entered into the conversation, and yet he should, because when you look at Bert, who was playing against Wally and was the 5'8 for Australia until Wally came in and then, what, went 24 tests, 23 tests straight, and then just captain as well, just quietly. But Bert won four premierships with Parramatta, three in a row, three in a row. So now we're talking the Cleary-type stuff. They're talking about Nathan Cleary being an immortal, who you were and others have been, but Brett Kenny won three straight with Parramatta, won two Clive Churchills in a row. He played 29 tests and he didn't play 20 origins. He didn't get there, but he was close. And again, in an era where he was against the King, Wally. So I guess where does Brett Kenny fit into the conversation? And that's probably why people go, hang on, Joey, good, but wait your time, Right. And where does it stack up? Did he dominate State of Origin? No, no, he didn't. I mean, Wally did eight-man of matches. There's a medal. There's a statue of Wally Lewis. 
Is there a statue of Joey? Yeah, I don't think there is many. No. Is there a medal named after him? For, for man of the series when it comes to state of origin? Hey, Terry, good morning to you. The king, what have I missed? Yep. Hel- well, help us I'll defend the king. Mate, yeah. I will, mate. Yeah, he did. It wasn't an NRL or ARL uh, competition. Mm. It was part of that organisation, but it was similar to the MK Cup, the midweek competition. Oh, yes. He captained the Brisbane rep side. And he won a few of those too, and didn't he? Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure how many, but I, I, there was one that stood out because he um, was, uh, yeah, during his speech, he sort of lost his pants. But, um, <laughs> Did he? <laughs> but, but, uh, yeah, but um, I think that was just a, a bit of a comeback. But yeah, and I think that was at Leichhardt Oval. Yeah, there we go. Two, two, midweek Cup, one, two comps. So there we yep. go. So we can add that into the mix as well. Yep. Hasn't won a thing. Terry, good stuff. There we go. Shots fired from below the border. And, and a few of you have doubled down on this. What about these Hello Sport guys? They've made me angry. Have a debate with the Ben. Right this wrong. These clowns are off their heads, saying the King <laughs> he didn't win a comp. So what does that make the New South Wales Rugby League? Third grade? Compared to Wally playing second grade, what a bunch of clowns. Oh, Trav, there we go. Shots fired. Oh, I love trading barbs across the board.